guys, it's Emily and today we are going to be doing my purse closet tour. It's just an extra closet my apartment had and I was lucky enough to be able to turn it into my purse closet. Let's get started! Alright, and here it is. There are six shelves, I believe, and it is stuffed full as you can see. And I hate to say it, but this is after I just did a big purge too, so... It used to be a lot fuller than this. Everything used to just be stacked that way, and now you can display them, and I love it. Alright, so we're going to start at the top. Okay, so this is my luggage type bags, like overnight bags, my camera bag, my extra flash, my lens, weekend bags, just suitcases, all boring. This is my favorite shelf. It has my Louis Vuitton bags, and here are my little boxes of things come in. This one has my extra lock and some keys. I try to get all my locks the same number so that if I ever lose my key, then I am not in trouble. <laughs> Alright, this next box has... My luggage tag, and it has my initials. I don't know how well this is gonna focus, but it's got my initials and it's so soft, and as you can tell, I've super sprayed it and it has hardly been used, so it is very nude still. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna be putting things away, but don't worry, I'll cut through so this video won't take an hour. <laughs> this is the book I got for my birthday from my best friend Darcy, and it is the Paris City Guide, and it's so cute, I love it. I'm taking French this fall, and I'm determined to go to Paris, and now I have a guide, so yay! And then here's my agenda that you guys have all seen in my What's in My Purse video, but um, I'm in between purses right now because I went to a baseball game last night, and everyone knows you don't take a nice purse to a baseball game because it's going to get dirty. Which is good, because I spilled soda all over the purse that I did take, so I'm glad. <laughs> this is my Alma bag. I'm going to be doing a review videos on a lot of my purses. Probably not all, because not all of them are this nice, of course. But this is my Alma. This is the PM. It's not the small size, because now they have the little baby one, the BB, I think it's called. And anyway, I love this bag so much. <laughs> okay. I'm going to speed this up a little because you've already seen my Speedy 25 in my What's in My Purse video. And here is the Speedy HL, or also known as the Mini Sec. And I've heard you can hook these together, and I've never really attempted it. But um, this is vintage, and I'm absolutely in love with it. Isn't it so cute? I call this one the baby and this one's the mama. But, um, I ended up getting this strap so that I could wear this purse, like if I went, like, shopping or if I just wanted, like, a tiny bag just to grab my cell phone and stuff. Doesn't that look so cute? Ah, oh, I love it. Okay, and so that is my Louis Vuitton bags. The next row is mostly Fendi, but it's got my Cole Haan leather bag, and I absolutely adore this purse. Like, I haven't worn it in a while, and I need to bust it back out, because it gets really heavy. Like, look how big this bag is. Like, it's huge. Anyway, I love how it has, like, a baby coin purse in it, which is what I usually put my cell phone in, and, um, Okay, this is so funny. To keep my purses looking nice, I stuff random pillows and slippers. Like this one I made in home ec in like middle school. I don't know, it's really old. But it's huge. Like the I love how this bag is shaped like a coin purse and it has the baby coin purse. Oh, I love it. Okay, and then and shockingly, this bag cost just as much as that speedy cost. My little bit of coach. I used to have a coach bag too, but I just gave it to my mom because I never ever wore it. This is my coach collection. And 
And I have the little baby bag. This one I keep in my purse, it's a wristlet. My coach wallet, which was in my first What's in My Purse video. Another, my first coach item actually, I think it was a gift from my grandma and it's a little wristlet. And then this is like the bigger wristlet. And it opens up, it has way more room, but. So those are all my coach bags. All right, so now we're gonna move on to my Fendi bags. Well, Fendi, I keep a lot of my accessories in here. So my Fendi sunglasses, they're ginormous. I need to get new ones because my husband always makes fun of me and says that they look like giant bowls on my face. So I still love them. This is just an empty box that I think the key fob came in. So there's my key fob you've seen in my What's in My Purse video. The matching wallet I told you I had, which I just stopped using when I got the agenda. When I got the agenda for my birthday. But like, look how big this wallet is. Like, it holds everything, but it's had too much space. I kept losing things. And then my vintage Fendi wallet that has all my store cards in it that you saw in my What's in My Purse video. So this is my vintage Fendi bag. I love it. It's got the stripes, so classic. You know what I think I need to do? I think I need to split these up and do like collection videos where I go into detail of each one. Does that sound interesting? I don't know. Let me know. Leave a comment if you think that sounds fun. So, these are my bags that are kind of falling apart. These two, I need to give some love. They're both vintage and hot messes, anyway. Those are some of my bags I usually use when I go traveling, and I just throw those in my suitcase. I don't really carry them as purses ever because they've just gotten trashed. Anyway, I see a slipper in my purse. <laughs> it's a slipper in my purse that keeps it shapeful. You do not need to buy bag shapers, you can just put slippers in there. Anyway, this is the Fendi bag I got for my high school graduation from my grandma, and I love this purse so much. I usually have to carry a scarf in it though, because I'm afraid people are just going to reach in. Okay, so that's everything for Fendi. Next is Dooney and Burke. There's this one. I love Dooney and Burke because it's like Louis Vuitton, but cheaper. This one has turned really yellow, and I don't know why. If anyone knows how to on yellow my bag, please let me know, because this bag is so cute. Let's see. And then me and my mom have matching ones of this. She has the baby pink, and I have the hot pink, and they were Christmas presents that I got each of us so we could match, because I thought that was super cute. This is my, the newest Dooney and Burke bag that I have. It's not that new, I've had it for a while. And I got it in the clearance bin at Macy's for super cheap, and I just love it. It's so, like, big. <laughs> Another slipper. <laughs> it's really big and holds, like, everything, and it's just, like, a great, like, I have to throw a ton of stuff in my bag first, grab this, and go. And then here are my two small Dooney items. I'm really sad because this one, like, super lost all its color, and I don't know why because it wasn't sitting in the sun or anything. So that's kind of sad. But anyway, it's another wristlet. As you can tell, I was like super obsessed with wristlets for a while. <laughs> I think I got all those wristlets within like a year of each other. And then um, this is another purse that is a it's a vintage Junior Burke. Ooh! <laughs> I even for some reason thought the strap was attached. It has a spot for the strap, so you could wear it like crossbody, which is way cute. Or you could just wear it as a clutch. But I super love this. Isn't that way cute? So I just had to tidy everything back up and let's get back to it. Alright, so now the juicy sunglasses that were in my What's in My Purse video. This is a beaded kitty purse and it has like a little string thing but I really love this. And I got it in Santa Rosa on a little trip with my hubby. So that's cute. And then it's kind of like random but it's my Dior. It says Dior, it's like Dior letters, little keychain thing. 
but I never used it as a keychain because I was always afraid it would get scratched. So I just kind of have this decoration in my purse closet. And then there's my... <laughs> it's called an engagement ring necklace. And um, I got it about the time I got engaged. And see it has a big ring for the, the um, charm. And you wear it like this. I think it's super cute. Oop, you can't even hardly see because of my hair. Anyway, that's that. <laughs> and then I have my... Do you guys remember the old iPods? Like, I think this is for like iPod video. I don't know. This is way old. But it's a little juicy carrying case for it. And it never really fits anything anymore. But I just can't get rid of it because I just think it's way too cute. And then there is my Dior ID holder. And this is great for if you just want your ID and like some cash. You can just throw it in your purse and go and it will fit in any purse. Like my little baby one. This is my leather studded bag that um, was a gift. And I love this purse. Like it is so cute. Look at these studs. It's, and it's even got a lock. I think it's supposed to be like a speedy. But um, I don't know. Everyone always asks me where I get this bag and I just love it. So now we're going to move to the bottom level. I'm not going to go into too much detail here because there's just a lot of purses down here. Um, hmm, how do I want to do this? This is just like my quilted bags. I mean, there's some nice ones in here. There's like a, I know there's a Givenchy down here, a Bally's. Oh. Slow and Steady wins the race or something like that. I don't know, it was a limited edition bag I won. And I love this purse. This is my Mulberry for Target bag. Isn't this way cute? I wear this when I go to like festivals and stuff because it actually holds way more than you think it would. Plus it's so cute, right? My store didn't sell out. Actually, this was on the clearance rack at my Target, so I lucked out. This is way cute, right? <laughs> my little vintage bag. Woo! Is my Escada bag. This is suede. And it's vintage. As you can tell, I like vintage bags. But isn't that way cute with the like little like horseshoe type thing on the front? It's another great summer bag. But I'm always so afraid to wear it because it's suede and like suede stains, right, people? Right. Anyway, that is um, that row. This one is this. Maybe I'll have to tilt the camera down. Okay, so there's a bin down here, and it has. Um, all my clutches and uh, like small evening bags and then there are some more like weekend beach bag types bags and yeah anything that wouldn't fit up here basically. <laughs> so the last thing I want to go over is the hanging ones. Um, these are my like grab and go like these are really cute and I just think they're really decorative and then this is a Harrods bag. It's a reusable shopping bag my friend Darcy got for me when she was in London and oh, I love this bag it's so great but I think it's adorable and it hangs so I can see it every time I open my closet this is the bag I took to the baseball game it's Kathy Van Zeeland this bag I took on the plane with me I used to carry on when I went to Las Vegas a couple months ago and um, it's Betsyville by Betsy Johnson um, it's just a great bag it's supposed to be like the Louis Vuitton Neverfull like see how you can cinch up the sides but it was a gift and I just love it. See? But uh, I actually used it a couple days ago and I just throw like our swimsuits in there and towels and change of clothes and it just, it's a cute bag that holds everything and I love it. So that is my purse closet and um, I'm thinking that if you guys like any of the shelves that I didn't really go into too much detail or if you want to see a video more on a different purse family, maybe just let me know. I know I kind of skipped through the quilted bags really quickly but if you want to see more of it or want me to do a part two video where I go into more depth, just let me know and I can't wait to see you guys again. Bye!